Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So expanding on an idea that was starting in the last video, and then I was listening to Cindy talk, and then it was just hitting me that we have to, again, show how the dark matrix copies everything from the original matrix. We, we are living in a natural matri matrix, which has been created for the exploration and growth of souls, let's just say. Use that term, you know, the Atman uh, from Hinduism. <clears throat> it's a natural thing. And yet there is a dark matrix that is taking everything that is natural and twisting and distorting and using it for the reverse because they don't want your soul to expand and grow. They want it to contract and wither. They want it to become like them. And, you know, again, ultimately what we find ourselves in is a situation where at the very top of the pyramid, so to speak, of the dark control matrix is really a soulless entity. It's something that is jealous of humans because we can go so far above and beyond where it can go. So what does it desire to do? It wants to control the narrative. It wants to control us. It literally wants to entrap your soul. You know, this is that old, um, you know, this is that old biblical story, so to speak, that Satan really is after your soul. And yes, uh, the satanic system wants to utilize you in every way, shape, and form it possibly can uh, in every aspect of you. But ultimately, it wants to trap your soul because our lives, our embodiment as human beings, is just over in a blink of an eye in reality when it comes to the consciousness, the eternal consciousness. And the strange sounds in the back are Rama and Sita playing. They're full of energy this morning. So, yeah, sorry, guys. But I just wanted to preface that before we go into uh, what we're going into here, because, again, they've also telegraphed and told us everything. And you might say, again, why do you... Uh, quote the Bible at times. Well, because again, it's their playbook. And I've also recognized that some of those gems that you find in the Bible, you will find in other books, including some of um, some of the, the Hindu holy books. You'll, you will find some of the wisdom of, say, that exists in the Upanishads. You'll find similar stories given as parables in the Bible, similar. And and this is exactly what they've done with giving us the modern Bible. And again, you got to say, who gives us this modern Bible? Ultimately, according to the history, it, it's coming from a Roman emperor that decided you can't uh, conquer Christianity, so we might as well become Christianity and create a form of Christianity that we could control and utilize to our betterment. And so that Roman emperor... Uh, ended up legalizing, and not only legalizing Christianity after initially persecuting it, but making an official version that was their own. And again, you'll have people that trust the King James Bible and don't realize King James, well, first, he's a king. Yeah, <laughs> the monarchy. Do you trust King Charles? Why would you cut, trust King James? You know, again, this is just obvious questions. They've, they, it's always been in these bloodlines. It's always been the same uh, power structure. It's the same beings coming back and, and controlling humanity time and time again during a dark age. It's all relative to where we are in the universe. It's all relative to where we are in the cycles of the yugas, which we've you know covered. We have been in a very dark materialistic age. Now we are starting to go into an age of energy, and then we will go into other ages that are far more spiritual in nature. So the good news is we are tiptoeing out of the outer darkness. The bad news is they want to grab us, lasso us, and pull us on down. When you look to the fall of Babylon the Great, it's so clearly uh, the United States and the NATO nations, primarily the United States, who has been risen up into this position. By who? By the system. Again, you know, we still, I still see on uh, certain 
channels. Like if I look at Monkey Works or if I look at some of the other channels out there um, that are professed to be very traditional Christian, I will see somebody say, this is all God's plan. We just have to go along with it. And 99 thumbs up. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, there's still so much work to do with these people out here because they're all walking off a cliff. They're all following the other ones walking off a cliff. They don't have an understanding that this is all programming. People will say, well, every single one of these prophecies are coming true. Well, again, it's it's their plan. And, and that's what we have to look at. Because when you, when you look at things and you understand how the texts are put together again, uh, in, in the case of, of the Jewish tradition, they never wrote down the vowels. They left it up to the scribes you know, to basically inject in the vowels where needed. This is changing on a regular basis, uh, changing things, distorting things, which is perfect for a system that has to roll with the punches and constantly be editing itself looking at the AI algorithms and and discovering, okay, well, if we change this to that, then this will probably trap 99% of the people that are already believing us will only lose 1%. These, this AI system is far more e- ancient than Homo sapiens sapiens, and this is part of the reality when you look at the original language. Again, people, people like um, Paul Wallace and Mauro Bellino go look at their channels to get caught up on some basics uh, because, again, it's all a distortion. Yet it doesn't mean that they don't plan on carrying this out. They've done it before. They'll do it again as we go through these cycles. So with the fall of Babylon the Great, I'll read this section uh, to you. You see, after these things, I saw another angel coming. To, an angel just means messenger. That literally translates to messenger, typically. Coming down from heaven, having great authority, and the earth was illuminated with his glory. And he cried mightily with a loud voice, Babylon the great has fallen, is falling, has become a dwelling place of demons, a prison for every foul spirit, and a cage for every unclean and hated bird. That's interesting. Unclean and hated bird. Hmm. Isn't the U.S. sign an eagle? I know, you know, Ben Franklin wanted it to be a turkey, but it's an eagle, isn't that curious? So was Rome, and so was Nazi Germany, and you know, again, it goes on and on. For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. The kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth have become rich through the abundance of her luxury. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, lest you share in her sins, and lest you receive her plagues, for her sins have reached the heavens. And God has remembered her iniquities, render to her as she has rendered to you, and repay her double according to her works. Ah, just let that sit in. Render to her as she has rendered to you, and repay her double according to her works, in the cup of which she has mixed, mixed double for her. Take into mind all the illegal migrants crossing the border right now from countries like Syria, from Iraq, from Afghanistan, uh, from all over the world, Venezuela, you know, in which the United States and NATO has definitely uh, delivered hard blows, literally killed families, Uh, caused untold economic strife. Think about that. Render to her just as she rendered to you. Repay her double according to her works. For she says in her heart, I sit as a queen, and I am no widow, and I will not see sorrow. How many people in the U.S. have always thought, nothing ever happens here. Nothing ever happens here. It's always over there. Oh, there'll be another war. We'll have to send people away. But, you know, it won't affect us here. This is exactly what they've had planned for a very long time. Therefore, her plagues will come in one day. It just is meaning very, very quickly. Death and mourning and famine. And she will be utterly burned with fire. For as strong is the Lord God who judges her. It's really the system that, that is judging. The system that is using one nation to subdue and control other nations than just discarding that nation to become a sacrifice, a bloody burning sacrifice, bloody burning sacrifice 
for the new order that's coming in. So when you look at the wording too, the kings of the earth who committed fornication live luxuriously with her, will weep and lament for her when they see the smoke of her burning, standing at a distance for fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, the great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour your judgment has come. And it goes on and basically says again how this one city, this one nation, was always a nation that delivered all sorts of, of distress upon the world and luxuriated itself. It's so clear that this could really only be the U.S., primarily what we're talking about. And it's the end of a system. And who is doing this? Well, again, it's the system itself that's doing this to, to us. And, and it's used other countries in the past. So, you know, we've talked about this in dozens of videos, truly. Uh, a lot of people are binge watching right now. So, you know, again, where would we be uh, if, if we weren't supposed to be here through these times? Because we do feel we're supposed to be here through these times. Uh, we feel that we are supposed to anchor uh, uh, and try to help anchor light in in the darkest of times. We certainly would not be in the USA or any of the NATO nations if we had, you know, the resources and we felt like we didn't have to be. Um, you know, again, some some nation that's not aligned with NATO or BRICS would probably be a much safer place to be in general. They've telegraphed a lot of things, including are you prepared for an EMP attack? Remember, EMPs. Uh, was a very hot topic going back to 2016, really. And there's been more than one report that has been done on an official governmental level of how an EMP attack would be almost, pretty much all that would be needed uh, to destroy uh, the U.S. as a nationwide blackout lasting six months to a year could kill up to 90% of Americans. This is, again, something, uh, it goes back here to Dr. Pry, 2015 U.S. House of Representatives session. <clears throat> this is when we were, were first getting some briefings on, on what probably is in the plans. And what we get now is that it's not necessarily going to be uh, nuclear things detonated in the atmosphere. It could be some more uh, of an energy weapon including an upgraded uh, version of the rods of God that would take out the grid, not in totality, but in pockets. Because again, uh, they need to still be able to control that. And, and they do it through their technology. So you remember all these articles that were popping out. This is from 2017. North Korea EMP attack could kill 90% of Americans. Would 90% of Americans really die from an EMP attack? Some people think so because the society would deteriorate. Chaos. All of a sudden, you wouldn't have goods going anywhere. You would have such riots and disruptions when people got legitimately hungry. When people were thirsty and, you know, again, people would be scrambling and fighting over food and water and all sorts of basic goods. You would have some people, you know, the, the phrase is turn into animals, but I don't even think that's really uh, accurate uh, because what we talk about with the system in place, it's, it's worse than a wild animal. Well, far worse. It's very, very demonic. And then we have the purge. Mm. You know, I, I, I want to talk a minute about uh, the purges that we go through and I did mention about purging in the last video when we get these sun flares um, those are very important for us to go through and what it does is it cleanses us it cleanses your energy field so anything any traumas uh, both emotional physical surgeries um, broken bones, anything that we go through, any kind of trauma, if, if that is not healed to a high degree and the energies are expanding, that kundalini energy is going to look for the quickest way to expand because that's what it is. It's expansion and it happens throughout people's lives and it happens in layers and sometimes there's a lot of this energy released within you at once. And when a lot is released at once, it can look ugly. 
it can look difficult. And if you're in a group of people who do not understand what a purging or a cleansing looks like, that's not good because you have people who are very, very well-meaning and love you dearly, want you to go see a doctor and get this problem fixed right away when in reality you're being called to heal it at its core. You have to find the problem. You cannot take a pill and just assume because the symptoms have gone away, you're getting better. No, you're getting worse. The original trauma is still underlying and it's just simply getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So this is why it's so important to find the 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 deep, deep meaning of your pain and usually it lies in emotional trauma. So if you, you we go through these sun flares and people have all kinds of aches and pains, they might be moody, they might yell, they might go and spiral out of control. There could be all kinds of things going on. But the more educated you are about the purging that we are capable of, the better off you will be. But I want you to notice in this society how many educational places talk about this purging. How many um, schools sit here and explain to you, look, you've, you've been through a lot of trauma. I mean, so many of us, we go through so much trauma in the first part of our life. We just spend the second part of our life uh, rehabbing from it. It's, it's a mess. But understand that very same system sets us up for these traumas because it's so unnatural at its core. We are to be living in a symbiotic type of nature, um, not a parasitic type of nature. The parasites are something different. So it is about finding out what is going on with us and healing that at, at the base level. So that's what I want to talk about purging that natural humans go through. And at a time when we are purging ourselves of a Kali Yuga on a deep level, even like our ancestors, even you're purging the trauma of your parents, your grandparents, your great grand. It goes on and on and on because, again, there are, there are DNA memories and these memories and these energies are in you. And yes, we do even have these perhaps vague remembrances of previous uh, disasters and cataclysms that have been done to humanity on a regular basis. When you see uh, this, and again, they tell us everything uh, in the movies and through uh, their books and other, other uh, me media-related uh, sources, this is a, a mimicking of the natural order because we should be purging and lifting up. And what are they doing? They're creating the conditions to grab us by the ankles and pull us back down. They don't want us escaping up that ladder, that ascension ladder up into the light. They want to pull us back down into darkness where they dwell. So they give us movies like this, The Purge, which has become a big series of movies. And really, to me, this was one of the most disturbing whole concepts of all time. I mean, it was just brutal. It, uh, it's just so demonic that I, I did see the original Purge, but I haven't seen any subsequent ones. Um, just too disturbing. But again, we should understand that that is the system that is the controllers the the darkness that we've envisioned and 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 i think most of us have honestly thought better of the control system instead of worse instead of the reality and realizing just how dark and evil it is it is as dark as dark gets and so you can see this this is how they advertised it one night a year all crime is legal the Purge survived the night June 7th. Now, this originally came out um, back in 2013, I believe. Now I'm going to touch on the CIA, FBI official version, the Wikipedia version. They give us all these clues. Look at the word right there on the forehead. You know, when you think about in uh, 
Catholicism will anoint the forehead right over the pineal gland with oil. And, and what are they doing? They're trying to seal that thing shut. They're symbolically sealing it shut. They're symbolically cutting off your connection truly to God. And God is within us. The, the real God is within us. We need no dogma. None at all. You know, if there's any dogma that helps you in, in any way, shape, or form for a time being, because it, it won't be forever, as we're expanding consciousness, we are we are source itself expanding and, and growing in our own unique way. And that's the bottom line. Everything is telegraphed here. Everything is telegraphed. Look at the symbolism here. Wait a minute. All dressed up in stars and stripes. Yeah, kiss me. And look at, you know, Statue of Liberty, two X's, sewn shut. You know, this, and look at the mask. Uh-huh, the face mask and the hoodies. Mm -hmm. um, the, the Statue of Liberty, you know, the symbology on that one is very, very curious because the two X's on the eye and the mouth sewn shut, um, that's symbolic of a voodoo doll. And, and what do they do with Hollywood? You know, I want to say it's Hollywood has done this um, with voodoo dolls and they've made it so that people are able to be remote controlled through means of voodoo. So this is a very, very, very dark, dark magic that they're using. It's demonic. It truly, truly is demonic. You know, over on the far right where it has the kiss me, if you look at the gun, uh, this looks more like an AK or you know, one of the derivatives than an AR. So I think here they're alluding to, again, uh, Russia and China in this as well, having a part in this. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, and I just have to say, um, it, I mean, to me, that looks like a, a male dressed in a, you know, a tutu and carrying a, a gun. It's just all not right. Every bit of it is a, is as demonic as it could possibly be, and it is again. What's this showing you? That this is one of their series of movies from The Purge. Well, obviously, this is like all about the good old USA and the destruction and death about the, the, the USA. The Purge, election year. Oh wait a minute, isn't that this year? Yeah, it is coming July Fourth weekend. Keep America great. Wait a minute. Make America great. Keep America great. Um, yeah, and again, using a gun. And again, that that's more of an AK derivative. Uh, so very, very curious. Very, very telling. The purge election year. When we look, uh, we see the first purge was 2013. American dystopian action horror film. Uh, again, starred Ethan Hawke. Uh, Lena Headley and and some others again it was all about okay here's the plot in 2014 a political party called the new founding fathers of America are voted into office following an economic collapse the economic collapse I do think we'll we'll see that develop this year I think this is the year because this is also the year of um, again the war and and all the attacks and the year that the migrants go again go back to that Babylon the Great repay her double and meanwhile what do we have coming into the country people from China people from Russia People from every country like Syria, Iraq. Look what's been done with Syria. Syria's had nonstop bombings. I mean, how many people have lost their homes, their families, their loved ones? Everything in Syria going on almost a decade. How about people from Yemen? They've had nonstop wars for a decade. And there's an intense hatred of, again, the U.S. there as well as Iraq. Two Iraq wars, Afghanistan. It goes on and on and on. Uh, the different things that have happened in the African nation, nations, which now uh, China is, you know, just handing money to and, and resources and Russia's donating grain to, you know, it, it's just a, a complete setup. Repay her double. This is what they have planned for us <coughs> here in the U.S. They plan to give us a purge. Again, 2014, a political party called the New Founding Fathers of America voted into office following an economic collapse. 
pass a law sanctioning a purge, an annual event wherein all crime, including you know the worst crimes of all, is legal. And there's no nobody that's going to come and save you. Emergency service unavailable for 12 hours. By 2022, eight years later, the U.S. is said to have become virtually crime-free. Legal unemployment rates dropping to 1%. So, you know, again, I'm not recommending the movie. Uh, it's going to lower your frequencies, but it's good to understand what they have planned. And instead of, you know, 12 hours, maybe they're, you know, thinking of something like this for 6 to 12 months uh, of basically chaos where it's just literally uh, somebody has to stay awake uh, because you never know when somebody else is going to be breaking into uh, your house and trying to steal your food because they literally are starving. And then you also have all the sleeper cells that are going to be active in taking over key infrastructure, uh, key energy sources, key resources. All this is going to be going on at the same time. And it does feel that uh, this is slated. It really does feel that it's slated for this this year and perhaps, uh, you know, starting sometime after the uh, great eclipse but it might already obviously be starting when we're talking about uh, all the different incidents. We had 100 illegal migrants swarming a Home Depot in Chicago, Illinois. You, you had two uh, different cases where illegal migrants went and stole vehicles on each coast. Uh, we've had all sorts of killings and different things where they haven't even really given us who these people are that are doing them recently. They're trying to hide the, the slow activation. But when this does get activated, as it says, it comes on all in one day. And I do think, again, it will start the the real show, the real action will start with some sort of uh, rods from God, energy type weapons, um, that may very well mimic a, uh, what we might even think is some sort of limited nuclear strike. And this is what we got from the guides uh, that it looks like the timeline we are on now will have something like that happening within uh, about a three month timeline with Russia being hit also. And then, you know, the word was China comes in to mop up with other nations. You know, after I got that information, I, I like to look for confirmation and uh, Joni Petrie that I dearly love to watch to help me understand Vedic astrology. She talks about also the very same three month timeline. It was the same day that I actually channeled that information. So I, I found that to be very curious. But what I saw and what was given to me was these very large rods getting stuck into the ground and there were, it wasn't like it was inside of a city, but the energy that goes through these rods was created to go and take out the wired system where we see all of these uh, electrical wires, telephone wires. So it feels like it's going to take that type of electricity out, but they're not going to completely leave us in the dark because look how long they have been putting up these uh telephone tel telephone these 5g towers these um things that have been weaponized for <laughs> for all of us you know so they because they need to keep track of us so that's just plain and simple they're not going to go without all power the controllers will not now could could the sun step in and and do some serious damage yes it could but I don't see the controllers going so far as to have things so damaged that they can't even watch us over our cell phones and internet. But if you look at everything and how it's set up, Elon has been very diligent in making sure that all of these satellites are spread through all over our planet so that he can, they can keep track of us everywhere. So no, there are no heroes. There are no heroes. There is everyone, <laughs> everyone is, is in it together. They all have something to gain as long as they can keep us under control. Yeah, so they did more follow-up films. They came back with The Purge Anarchy uh, next. That came in 2014. Um, it was set in the year 2023. 
Interesting enough. And and then you had the Purge election year, which was released in 2016. That was an interesting election year in itself, was it not? And then they had the first Purge, which was a prequel. That was released in 2018. And uh, then you had the Forever Purge, which is what they would love to do to us, is keep us in a continual state of, of a purge, so to speak, in July 2nd, 2021. So, you know, again, uh, it's not that we want to make anybody afraid of anything. No, it's just all preparation and, and realization of just how uh, big this is. This is not a little blip. This is not a little blip. It's not going to just go away. We're in a major, major shift. And the reality is humanity has the opportunity to rise above and outside of the system. And again, the demonic control system is just trying to grab your ankles and pull you right back down. I mean, we're trying to point out a comparison between a natural purge and the controller's purge, what they're doing and how they how they parallel and they always copy. Also with this, now I never watch this film. I just can't do it. I absolutely no, no, cannot I, yeah, do it. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend it because I think it's full of trigger stuff. Yeah. And again, what else have they given us? They've given us the movie uh, Civil War coming out in April. Uh, <laughs> they gave us that Obama film again that did have triggers in it and you know, all this is about lowering our frequency and our vibe you know we got to get out in nature and enjoy ourselves our animals know how to play it's, and some humans do know how to play we should play but it, we should also recognize the season and you know again we are in for uh, quite a wild ride over the course of 2024. I, I, I don't, I think because of the nature of 2024 and perhaps the shock to the system of the things that will be given to us in 2024, 2024 is probably going to be the hardest year to deal with because 2025 will be um, a little bit more on guard and more aware uh, because I understand, you know, again, that most of you, you know, the 99.9% .9 that watch all the time, uh, you, you get this. You really do get it. And yet there are some that are in a little bit of not necessarily our regulars, but there are those that are um, wanting to look at just the love and the light and just going to try to ig ignore um, the darkness, yet the darkness uh, will come knocking on your door if you're unprepared. You got to be awake. You got to be alert. Um, you got to be aware of your environment. Be aware of your environment in these times. And, and again, we were showing three kitties training physically. We have to be at our best spiritual, physically, mentally, uh, emotionally. And we have to come together because this is also uh, going to take coming together into new tribes, so to speak, to uh, survive the times and then to start to piece things back together in a, in a positive uh, manner. Because the system isn't going to hold on to all of us. It is not going to hold on to all of us. There are those that are too awake for that. And it's not going to eliminate all of us either. So what we are going to have is a, a, a splitting, a dividing. And, you know, you will have people that will be looking uh, to restore things to a more natural way and really get outside of the system. Again, if you have the opportunity, I know there's a ton of people thinking about it now. I could feel it and I could sense it. There's so many people that are just starting to come to the realization of how how, t how trying things are going to be. And they're rethinking, you know, they're, uh, they're rethinking. We've talked to many recently, um, newer ones that are rethinking their position and feeling like, well, you know, Maybe D.C. is not the best place for right now. Maybe New York's not the best place. Maybe Chicago's not the best place. Maybe Houston's not the best place. You know, maybe Paris and London are not the best place. Uh, I don't really have to be here. I could work remotely, um, you know, and so they're really starting to think and consider. And then there's those that are like, you know, hey, I'm, I'm 76 years old. I'm in the middle of a city. There's not much I could do. Um, again, Talk to your neighbors, you know, get ready to pull together in any way you possibly could. Think about 
uh, is the water supply dependent on power from a power company that might not have power? Then what? You know, again, there's so much to think of, so much to cover, so many bases to cover. Um, and, you know, Cindy and I are, are limited in and of our own uh, ways and means and time to get across to people everything that needs to be uh, done. And many of you have thought about things that, that we haven't even considered yet. So please do share your thoughts, too. Mm -hmm. Definitely share with each other in comments and help support each other and lift each other up. We try to keep that a very happy place, a very positive place, a safe place where people can go and exchange um, information and ideas. It, it is about coming together. Maybe we cannot do it physically, but we can do it the way that we are doing it now, and that will help. And I just love watching this dog because he, he's copying his human. You can see he sits down on his butt first on this video, and he's like, oh, okay, that's what my human does. But no, I'm going to do it different. I lay down and, and yeah, slide on my like side. An old, old boy or an old girl. Yeah, yeah. He's somebody that's been watching his humans for a while, so he, he must have fun humans. Absolutely. Yeah. Much love, guys. May you all be kept safe in these times. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.